The day two of CES 2021 has come to a close and we saw a bunch of interesting announcements ranging from flying cars to gaming rigs. Hey guys, my name is Shubham and these are the top announcements from the day two of CES 2021. As we predicted in our preview video of CES 2021, Intel was expected to announce some new processors and it did. We saw the launch of Intel's Tiger Lake H series processors. So let's begin with that. Intel has announced a slew of 50 new CPUs based on its 11th generation 10 nanometer Tiger Lake H series architecture for gaming and commercial laptops as well as entry-level PCs. Not just that, Intel has also previewed its upcoming flagship gaming desktop CPU, the Core i9-11900K, based on the new 14 nanometer Rocket Lake architecture. And while that is what captured most eyeballs, Intel also tried bringing the focus to the new Jasper Lake 10 nanometer Pentium, Silver and Celeron processors, keeping remote learning in mind. Moving on to AMD, they announced the Ryzen 5000 series of laptop processors. They also teased the upcoming Radeon GPUs for desktops and laptops, as well as the next generation Epic data center CPUs. The Ryzen 5000 series processors are based on the latest 10 nanometer Zen 3 architecture. We can expect more than 150 new Ryzen 5000 based laptops from Asus, Acer, HP, Lenovo, and Dell, starting from the first quarter of 20. 2021. NVIDIA, the reigning graphics card champion, also announced several new RTX GPUs. At the top end was the RTX 3080 for those who take their gaming like really seriously. But while that offers huge power for 4K gaming and intense video editing, the GPU at the bottom end of the spectrum is equally interesting. We are talking about the RTX 3060 and Nvidia says it's 10 times more powerful than the GTX 1060 from 2016. In other words, you would be able to play most new big games on it without breaking the bank, though you may have to slide the resolution down a little bit. Oh, and while we are at it, Samsung 2 unveiled its Exynos 2100 chip that will power the variant of the Galaxy S21 that will come to India very, very soon. Samsung 2 has upped the ante to 5 nanometer process. And one of the highlights is that its image sensing processor or ISP has received a major boost and is now able to handle resolutions of up to 200 megapixels. Now, if you have enjoyed the latest updates of CES 2021 so far, do not forget to hit like on this video and also consider subscribing to our channel and hitting that bell icon for the latest notifications. You remember the old cartoon series, The Jetsons, in which people used to transport using flying cars? Yep, General Motors showed us a wacky electrical vertical takeoff and landing or EV toll vehicle. Now, I'm not sure if we should call it a car or an aircraft, but anyway, the details are pretty scarce about the thing. But GM did mention that it has four rotors powered by 90 kilowatt hour EV motors, and it can move around at speeds of up to 56 miles an hour or just under 100 kilometers an hour. Now on the second day of CS 2021, not only did we see laptops with the latest and greatest processors, but also some insane gaming rig concepts. Let's check them out. Let's start with Razer's Project Brooklyn, a gaming chair with a rolling wrap around display. It's quite the display too, a 180 degree transparent OLED display. Apart from that cutting edge technology, it also has carbon fiber and leather bucket seats with haptic vibration and of course bucket loads of RGB lighting. Oh, 
Oh, and Razer also showed off Project Hazel, an N95 mask packed with tech like audio processing pods that can unmuffle your sound, active ventilation and auto sterilization. And of course, RGB lighting. They never miss that. Moving on to Asus ROG, they unveiled the laptop with the world's fastest display, the ROG Strix Scar. Yeah, it has a display that can be cranked up to a whopping 360Hz refresh rate. Apart from that, they also proved to us that there's no such thing as too many screens with the Zephyrus Duo SE, a stunning looking gaming laptop with dual displays and a beastly set of specifications. And while that's cool and all, to appreciate the smaller things in life, Lenovo announced a laptop that has a humble black and white secondary display, the Lenovo ThinkBook Plus Generation 2. It has an e-ink screen on the lid so that you can check notifications, your calendar and take notes without actually opening it. And that concludes the second day of CS 2021. Which announcement made your jaw drop to the floor? Let us know in the comments. And for all things tech, log on to Gadget360.com.